Um, other fighters I got to work with at the Mayweather Boxing Club was um, the first day I worked with a dude from California. I didn't catch his name, but I was working the first day. Um, second day, I sparred Don Moore. He's um, 7, 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Roger Mayweather trains him. This is good work. Second day, I sparred Lindell Rose. He is 14 and 0, 7 knockouts. He Floyd Senior trains him. It's good work. And then the last day I had one of those sparring Sean Porter. So that was really all my work when I was down there. I wish I could have got more, but we'll be back down there soon. So shout out to me with the Club for all the good Um, my favorite punch combination is probably jab to body hook right up top or row right hook row. Just on the simple fact, the jab to the body. Make you put your hands down so the hook right just come up to the face, hook right, and then roll, send your boss. And so the whole, those, um, those two I like the most because it, it makes people do what they don't want to do and it looks the best. Look, if it don't look good, I really don't like it. We trying to, if it don't look flashy, if it ain't fast, I don't like it. So I like those two because it, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, exciting. So whatever exciting combination that can bring people like, ooh, uh, those are my favorite. inspired me to become a boxer because at a point in time I didn't like boxing, I hated boxing. I was really into um, football, basketball, track, swimming, all, all kinds of stuff like that. Basically the um, cliche sports, basketball, football. And um, so I was doing that and in football, like I, I was going to play football, but I didn't want to play that no more. I wanted to play basketball, I wanted to be a hooper. And uh, he like, no, you got to play football, you got to find something to do in the summertime. So we was by this recreation center, it's called Bustle in Detroit. And I wound up going there, and I was in the gym, and I'm like, you know, I walked in, there was a boxing gym. I'm like, oh, man, you know, they went to my parents, like, man, I want to box, I want to box. They're like, no, oh, you ain't going to box, you're going to get hit, you're going to quit. You're going to be like, no, 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 why you doing it? So I was like, no, I'm going to get it, and I'm going to, you know, so I was thinking that myself, like, I'm going to quit myself, but it'll buy me time for basketball season. You know, I wound up sneaking around them to doing it, and wound up wound up sparring one day, and I did good. Like I boop, 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 didn't even get hit, didn't get hit. I'm like, this is what I want to do. Mayweather or Guerrero? Honestly, being honest, I'm gonna have to say Guerrero. It's gonna get stopped by Floyd Mayweather. Y'all had y'all, y'all supposed to be on here. He, I, I believe he's gonna get stopped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say not, not the tip round. Just, just being on the box, the boxer that he's fighting, the experienced boxer, one of the best fighters of all time. He's probably one of them, and he, he's an okay fighter. He's, he's decent, and going up against somebody with counter punching skills, smarts, and speed, you know, and and power like Floyd Mayweather Jr. I don't, I don't think. Who's my favorite current boxer uh, right now? Uh, easily, I have to say it is Adrian the Problem Broner, my big bro. Um, why? Because I don't know. He's putting on the show every time. He's stepping in the ring. He's stopping somebody. He's stopping somebody. He's putting on the show. He's stopping somebody. Hand speed, defense, power, punching power, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know his, his work ethic, work ethic, you know all that. And Floyd Mayweather too. So that's kind of, you know, that kind of mirrors me. So anything that mirrors me, obviously, is going to favor that. And charisma, all that, all that rolls into one. The awesome boxer right there. What people can expect from me in 2013, well, this up and coming Golden Gloves Nationals. You can expect me to win that. Um, other than that, I should be going pro soon. Soon this year, really soon, we should be expecting that. A lot of, you should just see a lot of me, really a lot of me. Like I, I, I've been seeing like names in the blogs. I like that. Shout out to the people in the blogs. Shout out to Mike Johnson who's doing this, doing this interview, the twelve rounds. Uh, to keep up with me, you can go to Mr. Teflon Ryan on YouTube and check my videos out. And keep up with me on Louis Vuitton Ryan or Ronnie Austin on Facebook or Twitter and Instagram. And this 
around.